Dublin is different than Iceland. I've spent so much time here and I, I feel at home here, you know. I don't like to think too much when I'm walking into a fight or, or even shortly before the fight. You've already done all the work, you've already been studying and, and training and all that. So if you want to get into a certain state of mind, yeah, sure, do that and, and, and you know, sewn yourself and then just go in there and work. Well, well. Light step right up a pump. If you're doing pads like this and then you're gonna do some groundwork like I'm gonna do in a minute, good to kind of learn how to relax the muscles that maybe were tense for the for the striking. Gotta learn how to shake that off. You know, like like ducks having a fight at the, the pond and then see them afterwards, they, they shake the feathers, they shake it off, and then they'd be swimming next to each other next minute and hey, no bother, you know. When Goody started to come in here first, she we called him Yogi. Yeah. And we thought that was like a funny nickname, like Yogi. Because he was or just something. so calm, so zen, so yeah. Can we get 16 more of these? <laughs> Sometimes people see me as like a lot calmer than I am, but I get excited in the right moments, you know? I'm just a bit more chilled in between the bursts, if that makes sense, you know? We were going to bring Connor, but he probably wouldn't have enjoyed this, seeing as he has seven kilos to lose. Uh, I've done it a few times, yeah, but not like this. Kind of small walls and mattresses underneath you. It's fun. This looks more fun. So it's good to experience these type of things, ultimately make you more comfortable in, in uncomfortable situations. Everything you experience can be used as food for uh, making you stronger, you know? It's just a matter of how you take it and what you do with your experiences in life. We're good to go. That's it. Swap your feet out to the right. Imagine if you didn't have that safety and you'll be up there and getting tired. Easy. <laughs> it's kind of kind of similar if, I guess if you're in a in the cage and you're you're halfway in and and all of a sudden you get so tired you're exhausted and this you know you just gotta deal with it. It's all about efficiency. It's not about going fast is about efficiency, and that's what fighting is about as well. You don't just go in there and burst everything for one minute and then you're gone, and the other guy fought efficient and he's gonna beat you. You know, it's the same with this. It's how far you go. It's not how fast you can go to a certain point. Take all day, take, you know, just climbing slowly, efficient, and then you'll be at the top. Two pro fighters that are uh, fighting kickboxing professionally tonight. I get the night off cornering and coaching. I get to sit back and watch them. Throw it out, hurt them. Throw it. That's better. Let's be first. Me and John just become really good friends, and we're able to um, be very, very focused together. John is a phenomenal coach as well. He. He's so good at spotting little flaws or little things they could so easily go on better. I've lost things in my life, you know, and I know what it is to, to lose. And I know what you have to do to, to, I guess, overcome that, you know. I don't really think about it too much. I think about what I have to do and, and what's the best ways to do things. and. If I think about it, I believe I won't be carrying the belt. This is the life we chose. Hey, I would have loved to catch that. 
I swear to God, I'm good at catching them, yeah? I do pluck them flying beings from the sky. Bruce Lee style. Just wait here and see does that come back. Because I'll catch that. Where is it? So you don't want to make a move because then it's gone. I'd like to keep my hand. He's on you. Just let him chill.